didn't know such a program existed, but I'm delighted to know it does exist because, you know, I've said over and over again that patriotism is not genetic. It can't be passed down by heredity, it has to be taught. Miss Cruz's class is honoring Dennis Molinotto. Mr. Molinotto serves in the U.S. Army. He keeps our country safe. Sometimes he goes on trips for a long time and doesn't get to see his family. We honor Mr. Molinotto for being an important citizen of our country. Mr. Molinotto, please come up to receive your pen. Not everybody has the courage on the street just to go up and say, hey, thank you for what you do. And this program helps us do that and with all of our other classmates, and it's amazing. Well, I think if they get just a glimmer of what I've seen so far and how this is just going to serve as the platform for greater and greater lessons learned for them as they go to Washington, D.C., as they learn about local government, as they learn about state government, as they learn how they can participate in the process, I think it's going to get bigger and better. I'd be really surprised if it doesn't. And whether you serve as a teacher, as a firefighter, as a policeman, a mayor, or a veteran, it, it all matters. And uh, the program, the Liberty program, and what I witnessed today, I felt like really uh, encouraged that and uh, was a great experience for them to, to understand and learn. And I look forward for my, my kids. I hope they, they're so lucky to, to get to experience it too in uh, second grade and fifth grade. They care about their kids. They're not just talking about representing citizenship, good choices, and citizenship among those kids. They care about where they go and what they're doing and that they are developing both here and here. And it would, that I can't even express in words how much it means to me. What I hope they do is they go away from the same enthusiasm as what they had singing that song. I hope that it builds and builds and builds. And if they do that, they will be the great leaders of this nation. There's no doubt.